next we will we'll try a date based uh, circumstance okay. for that i'll if you choose uh, we already have an email so let me choose this correspondence and i would like to circumstance it okay. before that is it configured the send email i don't think we configured anything for it so let's uh, choose do we have a mail on the personal info we have right so i think i will i'll use it. yeah email is there i think i'll use that i'll use it as a field okay and the subject of a letter as i only have one recipient i i don't need to you know check this i mean it doesn't matter even if i select it or reset it so let be okay and in order to add in this uh, dynamic entities okay i think i'll i'll add them directly on the correspondence rule and in fact you can choose your templates also mm, i think we we would have only few for sls thank you and mm, okay i don't think any of this works Okay, I'm so on to blah 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 blah. So some X Y Z crop. Yeah. Okay. For example, this is how it looks like. Yeah. And why is this name not coming up? Okay, now it is. First thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is the uh, correspondence that we have given. So this creates a correspondence rule in the back. Okay. So let's uh, check that. And now we would like to circumstance it based upon date. Let's assume this X Y Z cop has. Uh, taken over an another small organization or they are collaborating with it okay and probably after first march the headquarters is going to change then the leadership the hierarchy is going to change and in fact the correspondence is the templates are also going to change in right? the signatures in the mail then the designations might change and all of it okay? so that happens after first of march 
Okay, after first March, I should see the new uh, email template. Okay, but before that, it it has to be the it has to continue with whatever it is being there currently. Okay, so let us see the correspondence rule. Let's send off an email. Okay, right. So this is how it looks. Let me just see you. Now specialized by circumstance. And for this, I don't need any uh, when property as such. We should be only dealing with the date time properties. For example, you see property and date are together. Now I'm doing it for a date property. So if my case is created after 1st of March, I should see the new correspondence rule. If it is before, I'm okay with the old one. Okay. So here my criteria is going to be a PX create date time. So I'm considering the time where the case is being created. Okay. Yes. So it could be other uh, date properties that are part of the application also. It, it can be okay, where we would also be creating some date time properties and all. If that is the scenario, we can add them. So now, are you looking for any range until from when to when are you looking at this? No, this is not a campaign or an offer email, right? I mean, if it's something related to marketing and all, I can have a start date and an end date. The offer starts from the 1st of Jan until 31st of Jan. So I can give in a range for it. But for this, there isn't any range. There is only uh, a start date. So this should start when? See, I cannot give March 1st now because I, I have to, you know, wait until March 1st to check this um, correspondence of, I mean, check this uh, circumstancing. So in fact, what will I do is, um, this is showing the GMT. So 10th Feb. 10 18 is the current time that is probably what I'll do is I'll change it to 10 21. So after three minutes, if I create a case, I should see the new template, I mean, the new circumstancing rule. But if it's before 10 21, I mean, within the next three minutes, if it is, then I should see the uh, old one itself. Right? Um, 10 18, I, I'll give 10 22 because we have to even modify it and all. So after this particular time, my new correspondence rule would be picked. Okay. And if, if you have an end date for it and a range for it, you can give quickly because we only have four minutes. Uh, let's change. Now it's no longer called project manager. It's called product manager. The designations changed in XYZ, ABC, Quincock this time it is. And the headquarters changed New York. Okay. Now, for example, they would like to have the last name. Okay. Yes. So the salutations have changed and this is how they would like it. After circumstancing based upon the date property from starting from this. Okay. We are good. Now if I run my transaction. So it is even before um, 10.22, right? The PX create date time would be less than or earlier than 10.22. Okay, let's look at the clipboard. So just to make sure, what is your PX create date time? Mm -hmm. 
okay create date time is so yes 21 11 mm -hmm. i think we'll do it in the case itself directly let's go ahead we'll we'll see it on the correspondence rule itself let to proceed proceed i got the base rule here and i will also get the base rule for the interview sla yes this is the base rule okay so collect feedback which means i should have already got my offer letter yes so what is it that you see when is it generated 2022 10 2147 so before right so before the specified time should i expect the base rule or the circumstance rule so it has to be some xyz cop let's check the offer letter what is loading Uh, yes here is the email uh, one recipient oh i think we did not uh, give an email for uh -huh. it right yeah, that's that's fine but at least yes we we see uh, as the first name is empty even this is also empty and we see xyz cop which is the base rule right now i think we'll do this one more time but we'll we'll give an email this time Okay. Okay. First name we have given. Email is also given. Now let's submit and see. Okay, collect feedback. So, yes, let's look at the offer letter. What is the time? It says ten twenty-three. So after the specified time. So should I expect the circumstance rule? Yes. Mm, yes. So we see. Hello, Kohli. The last name has come. Then the product manager and X Y Z A B C Finco. So this is the circumstance rule. Okay, so instead of the base rule it took the circumstance rule and in fact going forward it will only pick the circumstance rule until i give the end date if there's any end date that i have to specify then after the end date again the base rule is going to be picked so yeah that's how like we we would be working with the circumstancing based upon the date so we have like so we we looked at these things now circumstancing based upon single value we have seen right where based upon the customer type then we have seen it based upon the date property and within date you can mention a single date you can mention a range of dates right so as of date is something related to the range of dates so both of these are are part of the date properties right? and in fact if if uh, required we can combine these together right based upon both you can have it based upon both the property and the date that's part of your template based circumstance when you have multiple values but the thing is we have few prerequisites to be completed here like you need to create a template <coughs> you need to create a definition and you can create multiple definitions also and whenever the condition uh, matches the appropriate rule would be picked ah now i i forgot to show one more thing whenever you use this uh, circumstance you know you can see that clearly on the 
I've exploded. Right, the circumstance a section. You can see on what basis your circumstance. And always you will have the base one. And you will have the, all, all those conditions that you have given would be available. For the SLA, we use a template, right? That will be defined. So this template and this definition, you will get that particular SLA rule. Then the base rule is there. And then for the correspondence as well. So here the criteria is PX create date time after Peptin 2020 is the condition. I can also have them based upon now. Oh, why is this locked now? Like this went into the so now if I would like to circumstances based upon both based upon the customer type and based upon the property. Okay. We just try it one more time. Okay, and then if the customer type is premium. And then if the start date is uh, 31, okay, I mean, it will give something like this. So this one is circumstance based upon two things. One, property should be premium. I mean, the customer type should be premium. The date has to be after 1030. Only then this would be picked. Okay, so, hello. You are rejected, and this is circumstanced. Okay. Other one would just give you a hello. Let's. I think we'll, we'll check this as well once. Now I should. My criteria should be the customer type should be premium, and the time should be after 32. Only then the new rule would be picked. Otherwise, the old one. Let me give the customer type a standard. And the date also, I mean, date property also will not satisfy my condition. Create date time is earlier. Oh, I didn't give any. It's fine. Let us reject this candidate. Let's reject him. Now it's 10.30. So what should we see is just hello. I mean, there's no mail ID. That's fine. But I, I just see the base rule. Yeah. But if I maybe wait for a moment, what is the criteria for rejection? So here also you see there are two things. Customer type should be premium and date also has to be after this. Only then this rule would be picked. Okay. Yeah, I think by now it should have been passed. Okay. 
regular. Okay, now I'll give three. Okay, customer type is Zoomia. I think I'll um, email. Okay. Let's check. Mm, after 10.31, we did give 10.31 or 32, I don't remember. Yeah, I think 10.31 is what we have given. So yes, I see the circumstance rule. Okay. You can use a combination also, but provided this holds good only for one property and one uh, date. You cannot create you know multiple scenarios out of it i mean multiple properties cannot be added if you want multiple properties we should go for the template and uh, definition again 